never throws on Christmas anymore. Yeah. Let's go with Daddy. Dad! Dad! Daddy! Dad, let's go! Time to decorate the tree! Get the boxes from the attic. I'll be right there. Hurry up! Grandma's on the way! This version TX180, I think this might be the one. <clears throat> okay, safety first. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Chip generates enough electricity to power an entire house. Dad, that's awesome. But we gotta get the house decorated before Grandma gets here. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys go downstairs, get started. I will be right there. Uh, class is back, please. Thank you. I might invest in that. Oh, really? That'd yeah. be fantastic. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. Eric. You? My man. You're not gonna believe this. The TX-180 scores off the charts. I am holding the future of renewable energy in my hand. I knew you'd crack it. Did I ever lose faith? You know, your investment <laughs> made it possible. Stu, listen, you should really see it. Uh, I, I can meet you in town. I I'm sure it's amazing, but we can't get into the patent office until after the holidays. Put it someplace <laughs> safe and we'll, uh, we'll catch up. Stu, did you hear what I just said? This thing changes everything. It's Christmas Eve, Eric. Santa's on the way. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Get this party started. A bit of a mess, don't we? I miss mommy. No, pumpkin. I miss her too. Well, we'll do our best to try to have a good Christmas this year. What's this, Dad? Oh, wow. I haven't seen that in years. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is my elf. When I was a kid. 
He was my favorite. Your favorite toy was a doll? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Dad. That lady Amy from the butcher shop called. Something about a ham? Yes, the ham. Oh, the ham. Mm. Grandma's here! <laughs> Shaking. Hi, Mom. Merry Christmas. Well, where are you all two in such a hurry? I'm gonna do some last minute stuff. You think you can handle these two? I think I can handle them. I handled you, didn't I? <laughs> Nothing could be worse. Hey, listen, okay, Grandma's in charge, all right? I'll be right back and we'll finish trimming the tree. Thanks. Well, bye, son. Would you take those inside now and I'll bring the car in the garage? <laughs> Busy, so we aren't finished decorating it. Oh, well. Let's get right back to it. You can go ahead and take those things out. This one's for me. Uh huh. But you can't open it till morning. Can we open one tonight? I have one. Just one that we can open right now. Goody, goody, goody. <laughs> Grandma's famous fruitcake. Wow, Grandma. Awesome. You should really save this for a special occasion. But it's Christmas. I mean a really special occasion, like my birthday. Next to August? Exactly. In. Wow, did you hear what I heard? The Air Force tracking station in Kenosha, Wisconsin is reporting a strange object in the sky. Yeah, this is incredible. Apparently, this object is coming down from the North Pole. Sorry, I'm late. I I, I just been crazy busy oh, with work. It's not a problem. It's just a season. I have your order right here. Um, how are you? Great. Yeah. How are how are things? Good. Yeah. Your kids? Oh, they're they're great. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm. You know, this this time of year is always a little tough. Of course. Uh, that's understandable. The uh, decorations look amazing. I mean, you guys do an awesome job with the shop. That's all they're doing. Uh. Oh. Ah. oh. Thanks. Oh. Ah, thank you. <laughs> wow. Merry Christmas, Amy. 
Merry Christmas to you and yours. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, look, I know it's Christmas Eve and you probably have plans with family or... Actually, I don't. Oh, well, um, if you'd like, you could maybe stop by. Um, we're just having Christmas dinner with the family, you know, uh, the kids and my mother, and she can be kind of a handful, but maybe you... That'd be nice. Oh, well, we're having ham this year instead of turkey. I know. <laughs> right. Except, uh, we are open late and I took the whole shift. Oh, uh, well, uh, no problem. I mean, you could... I really would like to. Well, you could stop by whenever. I mean, the door's open. You know, we'll be, we'll be up. We'll be <laughs> trimming the tree and making cookies and, you know, Christmas. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to ask. Oh. Merry Christmas. Yeah, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Glavenstein, I'll have Mr. Pecorino's turkey ready in a minute. Go. I, but there's no one else here. Merry Christmas. I get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, Mr. Glavenstein. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hanukkah's over. Go, go. <laughs> Pardon me, Professor Harper. Grandma? Grandma! Where's Dad? I'm sure he's busy getting presents for a certain good boy and little girl. Probably still at the butcher shop. Huh? He thinks the butcher's cute. Mr. Glevenstein? No, the lady butcher. Her name is Amy. Oh, really? He said he'd be back to finish decorating the tree. And bake cookies. But I already baked you cookies. Oh, it's eight o'clock. Time for bed. Are you serious? Dad always lets us... Well, no smart talk from you, young man. You take your plate to the kitchen, go brush your teeth, or Santa Claus won't come. Lights up in five minutes. March! This stinks. Has a glum face, sweetie. This is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> I don't know about that. Why does Daddy hate Christmas? <laughs> he doesn't hate it, and it's just that this time of year brings up a lot of memories. For me too. Of course. Do you know this once belonged to your great? Grandfather, he handed it down, and then your father had it, and now it's your turn. Oh, kids, I know you miss your mommy. We all do. It's like with Grandpa. She isn't ever coming back. I know. At some point in time, everybody, even your father, has to move on. But we won't ever forget your mother. You know, it was always believed that when times got really tough, you could make a wish on this little fellow. And sometimes, 
a real elf would appear and help you out. Sounds unrealistic. <laughs> well, Christmas is about hope, about wishes coming true. You never can tell. I wish we could be a happy family again and bring Dad home. That's all I want for Christmas. Harper, family, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Claus? Ah. Incoming! Huh? Oh, I'm on it. Can you believe, after all these years, I finally get sleigh duty, and my job is Chief Booper Scooper? I don't know, I've been thinking. Is it all really worth it? We've got the best boss in the world. We build toys, spread joy to children all over the world. What's not to like? Back in the day, all you had to do was give a kid a broken stick and a pile of mud. Now you have to give him this gadget and that gizmo and everything expensive. It's out of control. It's not fun anymore. Look, you're an elf. You've always been an elf and that's what you'll always be. Santa's little helper. I keep thinking there's something more out there for me. We need you back in the cockpit ASAP. Roger that. the chip on you. Where is it? Mm -mm. Come on! You better spill the beans, otherwise you will suffer the consequences, my friend. Mm -mm. Speak up! <laughs> Maybe you should take the tape off of his mouth? Do not tell me how to conduct my business. Take the tape off his mouth. Oh, right away. <laughs> well? I, uh, I, I dropped it in the mail before I went shopping. <laughs> Come on. We've been trailing you since you left your house. You didn't drop it anywhere. You are going to tell us exactly where you stashed that chip right now. Hey, Santa, I was thinking, how about a little raise?
American men. This is going to be a simple in and out operation. I, I, I've got a top notch security system. It's like Fort Knox. You guys will never get past it. We'll see about that. Hey, wait a minute. There is someone guarding his front door. What? Who is that? That's my private guard. <laughs> Look, it's just a little boy doing the tricks and treats. What? He's dressed like a munchkin. Yeah, it's just... Wait. It's not Halloween night. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Shut up! But... Everybody just clam it! That's not a munchkin. That, my friends... ...is a troll. Troll? What is a troll doing guarding your house on Christmas Eve? That's my patrol troll. Patrol troll? Patrol, patrol troll. This is a game changer. What's the big deal? I'm not afraid of a troll. <laughs> you should be. Germany. 1975. I was leading a Navy SEAL team on recon into East Germany. And we came to a river near... Munchenberg. Eight men crossed that bridge. Only one came back. Which one, Mickey? Really, really? One troll, eight Navy SEALs. What were the other seven Navy SEALs doing? Oh, you need Stop it! Will you? We've got to regroup here and rethink this whole thing. Get us out of here. We need a hideout. Factory, dude. I am not an Oompa Loompa. Then your friends are Frodo. 
I am not a hobbit. Ryan, he's an elf. Whoa, freaky. You two guys are little brats. That's what Santa calls you. He does not. Wait, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the North Pole making toys. All a big mix-up. You see this distress beacon? Santa's gonna swing back by and pick me up soon. So go to bed, and when you wake up in the morning, you won't remember any of this even happened. Is there mistletoe in this house? Dad doesn't get it anymore. Nonsense, man. Don't worry, nobody's gonna be trying to kiss you. <sighs> I'm out of here. Push, rewind, zip, zip. I was never here. But wait! Department. Grandma! Hold, oh, hold, oh, hold, oh, hold. Oh. money that you want, I can, I can take you to an ATM right now. You think we're suckers? We know that chip is worth millions. Look, I have got kids in that house, so can you leave them out of this thing? Shut up. I don't want to hear another word from you. Otherwise, I'm gonna... Listen up. Here's the plan. Big bucket. You are gonna take out all the landlines and cell towers all along this road. What? And then there was a convenience store that we passed oh, a couple of convenience miles Convenience store. Mickey, if I could just get a couple of items. No. no. There's just one item that you need to get. That is a can of this. Off. Okay. What, regular or extra strength? Scented or unscented? I have extra strength. Hurry up! Stay away from my house! Or what? We're gonna get past that troll. We're gonna get that chip. Ah, Mickey. We do not have to wait for Big Bucket. What are you talking about? I will gain entry by creating a ruse and pretending that I am a Blue color electrician. Wait, 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 wait. No one's gonna buy a Frenchy repairman around here. But you do not realize, mon petit grand fromage, that I am the world's most recognized master of disguise. One that hit me? Do that thing again with the bubble. I'll get my video camera. We'll get a zillion hits. No, Ryan. He's like Santa Claus. Nobody's allowed to see him. It's special just for us. Right? Yeah. I wished for him to come and help us. Whoa. What did you just say? I made a wish to this dog just like Grandma said. Isn't that remarkable? Let me see it. Yeah, I made him. He must be a very old elf. Thanks, Santa. So here's the deal. Child makes wish upon the elf doll. 
toys, cash and small bills, whatever. The elf is supposed to grant the wish before Santa comes back to pick him up by daybreak. What did you wish for? I wished for our family to be happy again. That's kind of vague. And for my daddy to come home. I can make that happen. He was supposed to be home over two hours ago. Where did he go? He went into town to see a lady and he's not back yet. Oh, a lady, huh? So if I get your dad back, then we're good. I guess. Done deal. See? That's how I roll. Did Dad forget his key? Dad's always come home. Oh, it's just you. Merry Christmas. Ryan James Carter, you open that door instantly. Oh, not worried. I am so sorry. Who helped you? The butcher lady. Amy. Oh, you Eric's friend. Oh, hello. Won't you come in? I'm sorry, the toy store was closed. I brought cold cuts. Thanks. <laughs> it's not my dad. It's the butcher. Huh? Wait, I'm huh? upstairs. I hope I'm not intruding. Uh, oh, uh, oh, Eric, your dad invited me, and dad's not. Uh, no, oh, he's not dressed yet. <laughs> uh, I'm Grandma Harper. Ryan, take her coat, dear. Please. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh. place to sit by the fire. Everything looks so, uh, Christmassy. <sighs> Hi. <gasps> ah! My dear, I make my eggnog with turkey eggs and buttermilk. I hope you like it. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Was it sour? <laughs> no, it's fine. It just came out the wrong pipe. But <laughs> <laughs> it is to ride in a one <coughs> horse open
shooting, officer. You know you got a tail light out on this thing? No, sir. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take you down to the station. Man! <laughs> you should have seen your face. I got you. Hook, line, and sinker. Hey, <laughs> you got me. It's Christmas Eve. That it is. You go on and have a good evening. Okay. But get that tail light fixed. I sure will. Hey, wait a minute. What's all that? Yeah, um. I. Okay, look, I'm gonna level with you. Yeah. I cannot go back to the joint. I skipped my parole hearing last week. Now I'm hanging out with criminals. This van is stolen. All this stuff is shoplifted. And kidnapped, kidnapped this scientist. This is steal invention just to sell it for money? You know, I've been driving around, cutting down phone lines and knocking down cell towers. And we got this guy tied up in a barn. This scientist guy tied up in a barn. I can take you there right now. We can rescue this guy. Man, we can be heroes. <laughs> Payback time. <laughs> You got me. You're good. <laughs> Did Jimmy Hoffa <laughs> down in that barn, too? <laughs> yeah, he's down in that, too. Man, you uh, had me go. All right, big man. You deliver them flowers. All right. Have a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. You, too. Pea brain. Oh, can I help you? Oh. How then, madame? My name is, uh... Hank, Mr. Harper asked me to come look at the faulty wiring in his uh, laboratory. Uh, but... Then I will mosey on down to the holler with my hound doggies and hunt the opossum, drink moonshine in my big muddy truck with the overgrown tires. Yow. Tonight? I mean, where on earth is this Eric? Oh, here. He got tied up. But don't worry. He insisted that I take care of this tonight so that your house does not burn to the ground. Ruin your Christmas. I warned him about that. I told him it was dangerous to do those experiments oh. upstairs. Don't worry, madame. I will uh, take care of everything. Uh, well, I'm sure you know where it is. <laughs> of course I do. Now where it is. the electrician. He's here to fix something up in your dad's lab. On Christmas Eve? <laughs> I'm sure he'll charge a pretty penny for it.
something going on upstairs. I think you should... Be the butcher. Oh. I've got one of them. Call the sheriff. He, he's with us. He's our friend. You got the wrong guy. That's what I've been trying to tell her. What do you mean? He looks like a reject from the Christmas parade. He's an elf, a real elf. Sure, dude. Do what your magic says. <laughs> So you wished for an elf to come and help you, and he appeared. Because Santa ditched me. Santa. And the creepy man upstairs was... Wait, that guy was trying to steal my dad's invention. What invention? His TX-180 solar cell. It makes enough energy to power a whole house. So your dad never came home from town, did he? He didn't want you to leave because Dad really likes you. Hey, that's the same van that took the robber. What? There's someone in that barn. The Taylor place? That's been abandoned for years. I'm calling the police. There's no service. Maybe the robber knows something about Dad. I bet he kidnapped him. Hey, we don't know that. I hate to say it, but the boy might be onto something. Yeah. You promised to get my daddy back. Daddy's never gonna come home. Hey, hey, hey. Your wish is my promise. I'll find your dad. I'm going to that barn right now. Uh, alone? It could be dangerous. Hey. Danger's my middle name. Actually, it's Elmer, but let's not get into that. Don't worry. Just sit tight. I'm gonna scope out the sitch. <laughs> Dear Santa, what I want for Christmas is a deserted beach and a tropical drink with an umbrella. But first, I gotta deal with some knuckleheads who made a little girl cry. Troll over. 
leprechaun or whoever is guarding your house is not going to stand between us and our own pot of gold. Give it up, Mickey. You'll never get past that troll. Oh, yeah? Now, look. You could make this easy on yourself by just telling me where that billion dollar chip is hidden. Daddy O. Or we are going to tear that sweet little house of yours apart, splinter by splinter. Kids or no kids? If you touch one hair on my children's heads, you will regret it. What was that? We have us a visitor. Hey, little trolley. Come on out, you little green man. Come on. Let's just talk about this. What do you say, huh? Come on out, troll. There he is. Don't say it. You're an elf. Thank you. What, what are you doing here? I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> Long story about a little girl who wished upon an old elf doll. Casey. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. All those years I spent believing in, and, and then, well, then I grew up, I suppose. But, but you, I mean, you, you really exist. If we don't get out of here, neither one of us is going to exist. I tried. Something far more evil. Like what? Like what night is tonight? Christmas Eve. Yes. And so who helps with the presents on the sleigh? An elf. Elephants. Oh, no. Pointy ears. Helps Santa. No, 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 no. I think you're on the wrong track, Mickey. It's a Christmas elf. I'm gonna squash that pointy-eared pipsqueak like a bug! <laughs> you say this now, but you'll be singing a different tune as soon as he puts his bony elbow in your eye. Wait, wait. He's right, you know. He's a Christmas elf with special powers. He's come to rescue my family. Hey, boy, boy. Oh, no, oh, no. Don't you be playing your little mind games with me. We're going in, and we're getting that chip. You'll never get past the elf. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You think I haven't dealt with elves before? Bucket, with me. JP, watch him. Help! Help. <laughs> Did you find Eric? Yeah, bad guys have him tied up to a chair. 
at that old barn. Is he all right? No, he's tied up by bad guys. You just left him there? Deal was, find him. I found him. Wish granted. Now I'm going out on the roof to wait for my ride. You promised to bring my daddy back. I make toys. That's all I know. That's all I'll ever be good for. Go ahead. Leave. We can take care of ourselves. Yeah. yeah. We don't need Cliff around here. I've done all I can do. I'm done. You've got to rescue Dad somehow. Elfman can help us. I know he can. What did you just call him? Elfman. Like Superman or Spider-Man. He's like a superhero who has special powers, but doesn't know how to use them yet. If only we could find a way to make Elfman believe in himself so he could realize his true potential. A costume. What, Casey? Let's make Elfman a costume. It came upon a midnight clear That glorious song of old From angels bending near the earth To touch their harps of gold Peace on the earth, goodwill to men From heaven's all gracious King Solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. And ye beneath life's crushing load, whose forms are bending low, who toil along the climbing way with painful steps. Swiftly on the wing, oh, rest beside the weary road and hear the angels sing. Santa? He'll be here. Busy night for him. What is that? Casey and Ryan believe you're a superhero. We thought if he just had a costume, maybe... Lady, do I look like a superhero? Well, no superhero looks like a superhero until they discover their true powers. I've been making toys for years, getting them out on Christmas, wondering the whole time what it would be like down here in the world of kids. Now I know, you people are crazy. And you have a really bad attitude. Now you listen to me. You are elf man. At least to Ryan and Casey. Those two kids have lost the most important thing any two kids could ever lose. Their mommy. And their dad's been working really hard to hold things together. Do you have any idea how hard things have been for this family? If there's only one thing you learn about how it works down here, you get this straight. It's not all about you. Christmas is about giving, about bringing joy into other people's lives. And just, maybe if you tried it once, you might find it can make you feel good about yourself too. their 
strengths. Christmas elves also have their weaknesses. Superman has his kryptonite. Christmas elves have their mistletoe. Go get that. Why me? Because I said so. I'm the boss. Jean Pierre's guarding the prisoner. Exactly. How you doing? Good. You're supposed to be guarding the guy. Oh. Eddie, I told you. I told you. Stay there. Mickey, I think the scientist is missing. All right. All right. It's time to rip this up. He isn't moving. Did he freeze to death? I think he's just really bummed about being a chicken. Ryan! Casey, where are you? Dad? Am I glad to see you guys? <laughs> did Elfman save you? Well, kind of. How did he get here? I wish for him to come help us. I knew it. I knew it. Where's, where's Grandma? Well, well, better late than never. Oh, you had me worried sick. Oh. Uh. <sighs> oh well, you made it. Well, we were having eggnog. Eric. Have those bad men really gone away? Okay, everybody in the kitchen, right away. Are coming. Ryan, take your sister downstairs and lock the door. Dad, I can help you. If I don't get a chance to say this later, I want you to know that you are the most special mother in the whole world, and I love you with all of my heart. <laughs> That's wonderful. But we've got to get ready now to take those clowns down. Right. I'll watch the kids. Nobody gets past me. Some Christmas dinner, huh? I'm just glad you're OK, Eric. I'm glad you decided to visit. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for protecting Ryan and Casey. They're great kids. We gotta lock the doors. What the? Amy, give me a hand with the cop. We locked all the windows. Check. We locked all the doors. Check.
crawl back under the rock you came from. Cause you got no business here. Who says? Elfman! You're from Mars. You will watch your speed in my neck of the woods.
gonna be Elf Roadkill! that doesn't belong to you. Not leaving without that chip! You hear me, Yelp? He's up there. Bucket! You watch that door. You? Where are the kids? Brian! Casey! Where'd they go? Go, 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 go! Listen, why don't you just step on out here and we can talk about this man to Elf. Hey! Gotcha! Hey, you stay away from those kids! I'm sure that we can come to some sort of an arrangement? What do you say? Huh? You okay? I'm good. The devil is coming!
door. There you are. I'm gonna wipe that Christmas cheer right off your face! this. Get her away from me! Looks like you boys got some explaining to do. Now get up! Get up! What happened to Dad's chip? Excuse my manners, but... <laughs> Thank you. Santa coming back to get you? You're gonna leave us? I'm afraid I have to. No! Casey! Look, this is tough for me too. You and your brother are the best friends an elf could ever have. You had faith in me. You made me realize who I really am. I'm Elf Man. Can live with us and fight crime. Casey, my true home is the North Pole, making toys and bringing joy all over the world. Santa's counting on me, but if you ever need my help again, make a wish and I'll be here. I love you, Elf Man. I love you too. I never got a single toy when I was a kid. Every Christmas, <laughs> nothing. Me neither. <laughs> All I ever got was a tiny little Grand Prix race car. Well, it was missing a tire. <laughs> didn't even get that. Dad, where are they going? They are going to jail. On Christmas? Be good, bud. I will. Don't let her go. She's a keeper. He really is a superhero. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> she 
You see that? Look at all that. Say thanks, Elf Man. <laughs> thanks, thanks Elf Man. Elf Man. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Down we now are Fa la 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 Throw the ancient you died carol Fa la 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 See the blazing you before us Fa la 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 Strike the harp and join the chorus Fa la 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 Fast away the old year passes, fa la 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 Hail the new year lads and lasses, fa la 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 Sing we joyous all together, fa la 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 Heedless of the wind and weather, fa la 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 Stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and air repining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope. The weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. Shining, it is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and air repining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. For yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees and hear the angels sing Oh, night divine The night when Christ was born Oh, night Oh, holy night Oh, night divine Oh, holy night Oh, night divine The night when Christ was born
Christ was born. 